Hello and welcome to Teach to Learn, the channel in which I teach concepts so you can learn them and I can better understand them. Right now we're going to be learning how to write arrow functions with parameters in JavaScript. So let's dive right in. Just like a regular function, you can pass arguments into an arrow function. Then below we're presented with an example of variable doubler being declared with the const keyword and being assigned an arrow function with a single parameter called item, which represents a value that will be passed onto our function in order for our function to work with. Then they set the function to return the value of our item parameter times two. And then they simply call that function with the variable identifier with a value of four, saying the doubler with a value of four would return the value eight. So let's see this code in action in the console. So here we have our code. Let's log in our function call into the console. And we can see that we get our value of eight because our function always doubles the value submitted to it, whichever value that may be. So if we, instead of four, typed in eight, we would get a value of 16. There we go, and so forth. Then they say, if an arrow function has a single parameter, the parentheses enclosing closing the parameter may be omitted. Then they have the same thing as above, but since that function only has one parameter, which is item, you can go ahead and remove the parentheses and the function will still work as intended. So we can go ahead into our code editor and remove the parentheses from our parameter and we would still get our same value since our function still works. Then they say it is possible to pass more than one argument into an arrow function. And then they have another variable declaration with the const keyword called multiplier that is assigned an arrow function with two parameters, parameter one being item, which represents an argument for a number value that will be passed into our function and our second parameter, multi, which represents another argument for a number value, which will be multiplied to our first argument submitted. Then our function, function is set to return just that, the multiplication of our item times our second parameter or argument, which is multi. And then the, the function is simply called. And then they say right here, multiplier with values four and two would return the value eight. So let's also type, then, type in this into our code editor and log it into the console and you can see this function in action. So we get our value of eight. If we change this just as before, if we change this to nine, for example, we get a value of 18 and so forth because the numbers we pass into our function will always be multiplied together because that is what we have declared. So now that that is out of the way, we can reset our code and move on into the challenge. And we are tasked with rewriting the myConcat function, this function right here, which appends the contents of array two, which is a parameter of that function, to array one. So the function uses arrow function syntax. So we must change this function in order to use arrow function syntax. It is simply taking one array, the first array passed on to the function, and concatenating a second array with different number values to the first. So here we have two arrays, one with two number values inside of one and two, and the second with three number values from numbers three to five. What our function is doing is simply taking these two arrays, taking the number values within them, and adding them together, um, excuse me, concatenating them together in order to form a single array, as you can see right here. So in order to turn this into a function which uses arrow function syntax, very simple. We simply remove the block of code. Let's keep the console log in there and set our variable myConcat. So first of all, we change this keyword because our function is not going to be changing anytime soon. So we can make that a read only variable. Then we must define the parameters of our function, which is the same as before. Array one, which represents the first array, and array two, 
which represents the second. Then we need to tell our function to return something. What is that something? Well, first we use uh, the arrow syntax, so equal sign, right angle bracket. And what our function will return to us is array one being concatenated, so concat, and in parentheses, array two. And as you can see, we get the exact same result. So we've successfully updated our function to use arrow function syntax. This is the result. So let's run the test. And our challenge is now complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been your bearded coding friend, Teach to Learn, now signing off. Have a nice day.